Now that we have our index.view all completed, the next thing to do is go to our details page and update that, which is underscore title.view. First thing first, let's go to the very bottom here and then add in the Axios library. So we'll import that first. Now let's add in our async operation. And with this, we want to call in our params. Then let's define constant data equals await axios.get. Then again, we want to use HTTP and then our port 0.0.0, .0, .0 port 3333 forward slash movies. And now what we want to do is add in one of the parameters. We'll do that by doing the dollar sign curly bracket. And then you know what? I made these an apostrophe instead of a back tick. So let's go change that real quick. And then add in params. Usually you might do uh, ID, um, but if we look up here, the file name, I did underscore title. So I'm going to want to use that for the param. Then let's return and assign data to movie. Now, similar to what we did with index.view, let's go up and swap out the placeholders with our data. First up, let's put the movie title here and add our curly brackets. Input in movie.title. Now let's swap out the image. And that's going to be movie.poster underscore image. And our release here is going to be movie.release underscore year. Genres is movie.genres. Then this will be movie.top underscore build. For the plot, that was movie.movie underscore description. And then lastly, we have movie.movie underscore review. Let's save that out and then go back and take a look at our browser. All right, now it's the big moment. What should happen is if I click on one of these movies, then we should go to the detail page for that movie. All right, let's test it out and go to the Terminator. Oh, awesome. All right, we have all the data that shows up for the Terminator. Let's go back and check it for the other movies. Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, perfect. And then lastly, Children of Men. All right, well, looks like we did a pretty good job at that.